Well, before you throw that monitor in the trash or give it to Goodwill, think about this. You have all these video game systems and not enough TVs to play them on. Why not get a VGA HDMI adapter? For $10, it makes all of these playable. This is the particular uh, converter that I have. The VGA to HDMI adapter. I have mine set up like this. I have this going out to audio because HDMI um, audio travels through it so your game system will have to go into an external speaker unless you know obviously if your monitor has speakers on it you can just use one of these cables and connect it to the the monitor itself. I have mine going to a portable speaker like this and this one actually has the line built into it so you know easy peasy recharge it good to go there's your audio this little guy here is for if a particular device needs some extra power for the HDMI um, the PlayStation 4 does need this um, and that, that actually connects to the you can put that right to the PlayStation's 4 USB port in the front and there's your extra power there and yeah ten dollars I mean why why not why not play some games on your monitor that you normally wouldn't use it just makes perfect sense and it's economical okay so we got the Xbox 360 hooked up to the computer monitor and what that blue box is you can't read it but it says analog out of range 67.3 kilohertz slash 60 hertz so what that means is basically we just need to take the Xbox 360 over to a television and adjust the resolution to the lowest possible setting and then we'll bring it back over here and see what happens Okay, so I'm at the TV now, so I'm just going to go over to System, Console Settings, Display, HD TV Settings, and see it's set at 1080p. I'm going to go up. I think I could get away with 720p, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hit 480p. Alright, we're back at the computer monitor with the Xbox 360. I found out that the 480p on this con this particular setup was a little bit too low. It started to flicker, but I, you know, eventually came back on. So now let's try 720p. Give it a shot. Hope everything boots fine. Excellent. Now that's a computer monitor that's not going to go to waste. I was going to show you the PS3, but I forgot the HDMI out does not work on this PS3. Sorry I can't show you. I know it does work. It's worked before as long as you do. You follow the steps as the Xbox 360. You go in and change the resolution on your television before you start. I do apologize. I did forget that the HDMI out does not work on this. Okay, now we got the Xbox One. Let's see if this works. Awesome! I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Beautiful. Alright, now for the PS4. Remember that extra power I was talking about? Well, right here I'm going to put it into the front USB of the PS4 slot. And go ahead and put this in the back. Now we're ready to test the PS4. Yeah. 
Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, just a note that I do strive for cheap happiness. Um, Xbox One, $200 brand new. Target in Canada failed, and then they sent all their product cross country, and it wound up at a store that the old lady found brand new in the box, 200 bucks. Xbox 360 had disc read error. Fixed that for $5. PlayStation 4, $150 off when you traded in an old PS3. PS3 was $50, had the red ring of death, and was fixed. And it works rather well, just not the HDMI. If you like this video at all and it helped you at all, please hit the like button. It lets me know that you know this some of the stuff is interesting and worth making more. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.